Each product required workers to carry it, and pulling on the junction box is prohibited. Product should be carried by grasping the frames. First, install the purlins. Purlin connection should be firm, straight and flat. When the product extends out of the roof eave, the spacing range of the lowest rows of purlins should be 900 to 1010 mm, and the spacing of the rest of the adjacent purlins should be 1055 mm with an actual deviation of no more than 5 mm. When square purlins are used, select ST for 0.8 screws to fix the pads and isolate it with insulating gaskets. When open steel purlins with a thickness of less than 3 mm are used, select the M5 bolt set to fix the pads and isolate it with insulating gasket. When open steel purlins with a thickness of more than 3 mm are used, ST for 0.8 screw or M5 bolt set should be used to fix the pads and isolate it with insulating gasket. The pads are installed from the bottom up, only one in the even numbered rows. Install the first product. The top of the product aligns with the purlin. Each product corresponds to three steel purlins. Between the second product and the first product, leave 8 to 10 mm installation spacing in the same row. Embed the same clamp into the frame groove of the first product. Then lap it onto the frame groove of the second product and use the M6 bolt set to fix the clamp. Clamp on the third row of purlins should be fixed using hexagonal screws bolt set. There are grounding holes at the upper end of the side frames of the product and the grounding connection wire is fixed with grounding screws between adjacent products. Install the cover plate between the two pieces of product and have waterproof strip on the cover plate to prevent the cover plate from slipping. There are positioning holes in the lower position of the cover plate, which are fixed using countersunk head screws. Plugs between products can't be installed at the same time. Product requires two workers for handling, and pulling on the junction box is prohibited. Grasp the frame when carrying the product. The purling connections should be secure, straight, and flat. The spacing between the first and second rows of purlins from bottom to top is 1,200 mm, and the spacing between the second and third rows of purlins is 1,093 mm with an actual deviation not exceeding 5 mm. Before installation, grab the hook through the mounting clip and then install them on the purlins. The short clip should be placed at the purlin on the upper side of the product, while the tall clip should be placed at the purlin on the lower side of the product in conjunction with mounting support. Once positioning is complete, start placing the first product, ensuring that the relative position of the product to the purlins complies with the design requirements. Place the product on the mounting support so that both the left and right side frames align with the mounting support midpoint. Adjust the product to ensure that its length is parallel to the main purlin. The distance from the bottom frame of the product to the center of the first row purlin is 564 mm, and the distance from the top frame to the center of the second row Purlin is 564 mm. Use the mounting clip to secure the product frames onto the purlins. Then tighten the corresponding hoops to complete the secure installation of the product. The distance between the two mounting support remains at 1,144 mm. And two bottom fastener assemblies are all located between the two mounting supports. Place the right side of the second product against the left side frame of the first product ensuring that their top and bottom edges are level with each other. Then, following the installation steps of the first product, install the upper left and upper right upper fastener assemblies and the lower left and lower right bottom fastener assemblies of the second product. After installing the next product, 
Proceed with the electrical wiring between the products. Install the first row of products from right to left. After installing a row of products, it is necessary to apply a waterproof strip. Along the upper edge of this row of products, first apply a long strip of double-sided tape to the product frame and then attach the waterproof strip onto the tape. If there is release paper on the back of the waterproof strip, remove it before attaching. Except for the bottom row, each product should have two positioning hooks put into the bottom frame before installation. Each positioning hook should be 200 mm away from the left and right edges of the product. Press the positioning hooks firmly into the product's bottom frame groove to complete the hook installation. The positioning hooks serve the purpose of quick and accurate installation when installing the product. Simply slide it down gently until the positioning hooks touch the upper edge of the next row of products. Polaris products are installed row by row, and the top row at the roof ridge does not require the attachment of waterproof strips. Finally, install the water guide sink along the roof ridge position and the water collecting trough at the if position to complete the entire construction.